Welcome to State Museum Perspectives. We appreciate you joining us. We have a special program today where we're going to talk about Art of the State uh, 2021. And we will also reveal early a couple of the awards for the show, which starts on Sunday. I am excited to have um, the Fine Arts Curator uh, and Project Director for the show, Amy Hammond, in the gallery, in the actual gallery, uh, with us today, and also curator Carol Buck, who assists Amy with the show. And uh, Carol, we appreciate you as well. And I, I just want to say at the outset, um, you both did just an amazing job with the show. And uh, we uh, are so thankful to have you on board and, and everything that you do. Um, first, a couple of uh, housekeeping notes about the show this year. Um, it is opening this Sunday, uh, the 26th um, of September, and it will be on view through January 2nd. Due to the ongoing pandemic situation, we will not have um, our opening awards ceremony and reception as we've had for so many years. Of course, last year we weren't unable to we were unable to have it as well. But we will be announcing the awards on social media, on Facebook and Twitter at 12 noon this Sunday. Um, programs will continue. Uh, Amy will talk a little bit later about Amy start, has a Learn at Lunchtime next Friday on Art of the State. We'll be having um, artist conversation uh, tours in the galleries. And we also will have some family programs. But certainly on September 26th, the, the show is open to the public and everyone is invited to join us on, uh, from the 26th to January 2nd to see the show in person, live and in person this year. And we're, we'll be excited to have you. Um, I also want to mention that um, our exhibit staff and uh, Amy and Carol have produced another 360 video tour of the exhibit, which will also be available, and you can preview that at home and see it at any time and look at last year's as well. It's still on the web. I want to start with Amy. Um, I would like to hear a little bit about your impressions of this show. Tell us about uh, the show for 2021. And this is the, um, is this our 54th? I should know this. <laughs> it started in 1968. It is our 54th exhibition. And since 1968, Art of the State has been shining a light on Pennsylvania's rich artistic heritage. And uh, this exhibition is significant because it stands as a time capsule every year as the artists address the uh, contemporary issues and techniques that are at the forefront of their minds. And uh, it is also important because it is a community-based exhibition. And after a year of pandemic concerns and lockdowns, nothing feels more important than the opportunity to gather together and enjoy uh, these beautiful works of art with the artists. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's uh, quite, I think, a bomb, the <laughs> bomb, B A L M, that we've needed for the past year and a half uh, to see incredible artworks and just to go to a museum again. Um, we've been reopened since April 30th, and, and uh, it's it's really um, very heartwarming to see visitors again and again to get to, to get to see the artwork. And obviously, you're standing in the completed e exhibit. Carol, I want to ask you, is there anything that particularly speaks to you this year? Any themes that you're seeing uh, in the artworks? It's interesting this year because the artists responded, not all of them, but many of them responded to being sequestered from family, friends, from being able to go to their studio. Um, so what they've done is they've painted or sculpted a response to COVID, or they have painted, photographed something that they had easily attainable um, in their space, wherever that may have been, like a paint drawer, for example. One of the artists talked about painting his paint tubes in his paint drawer because he was unable to go other places he normally went during uh, quarantine. So that is a resounding response to COVID that is in this exhibit. 
Um, again, identity um, in this exhibit, people photographing themselves, um, photographing or sculpting, painting people from photographs instead of being able to do it in person. Um, and then we have just regular creativity that people have always been very good at doing and, and sharing with us here in Art of the State. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, uh, the pandemic has left this, this indelible print on our lives, and these artworks will will carry that into the future, that that memory, the, the future that we're very anxious <laughs> to see and, and be looking at COVID in, in an artwork instead of living with it. Um, well, let's let's advance to talking, uh, revealing the two awards. This is kind of a tease for Sunday. We've never done this before. But first, um, let's have Amy uh, talk about a very special award that has uh, been offered for years by a particular family um, that supports Art of the State. Um, it's a drawing award. Amy, uh, why don't you tell us about it and tell us who... Uh, who re who's receiving this this year. Uh, Shirley Zimpelli Sturz Davis and the Davis family have been sponsoring the William D. Davis Memorial Award for Drawing every year since 2007. And William D. Davis uh, influenced generations of artists through his dedicated work as an educator and as an artist. And the award focuses on drawing because William D. Davis uh, was very interested in its uh, the media's flexibility and mobility. And his own work uh, portrayed both real and imagined worlds. And uh, as an avid gardener, it often featured plant life. Hmm. Very interesting. And drum roll for the uh, recipient. Yes. And this year's recipient of the William D. Davis Memorial Award for Drawing is Bess Green for Flying Fish. So congratulations to Bets Green. And I see Bets Green is from Flower Town. Very good. And thank you to the Davis family, and Mrs. Davis in particular, for um, supporting Art of the State and offering that award annually. It means a lot to our artists and to us, of course. Now, Carol will talk about another special award um, that is near and dear to our hearts because it represents um, the input and uh, connection to our volunteer art docents. Yes, our volunteers here at the museum are a great help to the staff at the museum and to our visitors for a very long time. Our dedicated art docents who help us out every year in Art of the State, unfortunately had to take a hiatus last year because we were not open to the public but they are back again. They study the Art of the State artworks and the artists and know their resumes and their backgrounds. They know the stories behind the paintings and they are more than happy to share that information with our visitors. This year's State Museum Art Docents Choice Award goes to Sandy Kessler Kaminsky for Fetching the Canary. Congratulations to Sandy. Oh, wow. And I see Sandy Kessler Kaminsky is a resident of Pittsburgh. And that underscores again, you know, these artists come from all corners of the state. And uh, obviously, uh, uh, art is alive and well in Pennsylvania. Um, and just a word about our docents, Carol, you said it beautifully. Um, you know, they are the backbone of our, our uh, outreach um, to the community during Art of the State. Uh, they do a, a wonderful job uh, being in the galleries and talking to visitors and, and just really kind of creating dialogue um, in the gallery, which is really what it's all about. Um, you can see a photograph here of several of them uh, looking, uh, I think they're working with Amy there to learn more about uh, artwork in a past exhibit. Um, they also uh, do a Docent's Choice Award for our Scholastic Arts, the Scholastic Arts exhibit that's put on by Commonwealth um, Academy in the spring that's of um, middle and high school students. So they enjoy doing that as well. 
Um, there, anyone can be a docent. Uh, and of course, we have a, a vibrant volunteer program at the State Museum and, and a number of departments. But for anyone who is interested out there, and we absolutely encourage you to contact us um, for our volunteer opportunities, the art docent uh, uh, job, if you will, uh, volunteer position is um, just one example. You can see, uh, please contact RA. P-H-S-M-O-P, volunteers at PA.gov. So we, uh, we encourage people and, and hope that people will do that. Um, Amy, do you have any other things that you'd like to say to the artists or anything about the show or the shows to come uh, looking forward? Well, I'd like to send a special thank you to the artists for participating this year. It's, uh, it's very exciting to see your, your work in person and to be able to share it with uh, other artists and with the public. And we have a full schedule of programming for Art of the State this year for visitors of all ages. Uh, the first Friday of every month, we will be having uh, artist conversation, learn at lunches. And throughout the end of the year, they will all feature artists from Art of the State. And we also have uh, some children's programs that we are doing and gallery tours. So uh, please see the Art of the State website for more information about dates and times. Absolutely. And some of those uh, uh, things can be uh, experienced virtually and some are in person. So uh, there's something uh, access for, for everyone. Um, again, thank you, Amy and Carol. I'm excited to see people in the gallery with you. Uh, starting on Sunday, and uh, thank you, thanks again to our wonderful artists, all artists who are in the show, and all artists who um, submit uh, to the show as well, and uh, supporting Pennsylvania's artistic community. So thank you again. Uh, next week, as Amy said, she'll have an artist conversations uh, learn at lunchtime. Uh, on uh, you can get that through social media and. Um, uh, sign up for that through for a Zoom presentation. So thank you very much. Have a great weekend, and we look forward to seeing you in the galleries at Art of the State.